Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I have created bunch of playlists to cover various categories of problems such as uh, linked list, trees, graphs, dynamic programming, breadth first search, depth first search, binary search and so on. So please check them out. I have uploaded the code for this problem to GitHub repository. You can get the link from the description below this video. Let's jump into today's problem. Consecutive characters. Given a string s, the power of the string is the maximum length of a non-empty substring that contains only one unique character. Return the power of the string. So basically we are given with a string and we need to uh, calculate the power of that string. So the power will be calculated by the single character how many times it actually occurred. Right, so maximum length of a non-empty string that contains only one unique character. Right, so one character should be appearing multiple times. So, what is that maximum length? Is what the answer for this particular thing as the power of the given string. So, let's go ahead and look at the example lead code. Right, so this is the given string. So, L occurred just one time. E occurred two consecutive times. So, remember. E occurred two consecutive here and E occurred here also. So it doesn't make it as the power as three, but it will only make it as power of two only because it should be power of the string is maximum length of a non-empty substring that contains only one unique character, right? So it should have only one unique character. So if you take the whole string, there are so many uh, unique characters, but what is the one unique characters ma maximum length? That is E, E. This is two. T only once, C only once, O once, D once, E A. here it is only once. If there was something like, uh, let's take this example, right? If, so if there is something like, right? So in this case, this E are only two, but these E's are four. We, will, we would have given the answer as four for this particular. But in this case, it's only two maximum and this is only one, right? So that's the reason why we will say the power of this string is only two. So let's go ahead and try to look at one more example and then we will uh, try to look at uh, the solution. A only once, B two times, C three times, D four times, E five times, D there is one more, C one more, B one more, A one more. So D occurred three times, sorry, D four times, C three times, B two times, A one time. And the maximum occurrences are for E. So E occurred five times. That's why the power of this string will be five. That's the answer, right? So let's go ahead and um, try to look up the logic how we are going to proceed for this particular problem, right? So one thing that we are given is we are using only the lowercase English letters in the given string S, right? So all letters are only lowercase English letters. So now what we are going to do is the thing that we are interested in is only the string the consecutive string right which which formed with a single unique character that means we will try to compare the adjacent characters if they are same we will take them into account if they are not same that means we we should not consider them as a uh, unique character right so we will have two things basically two counters I will be calling them as max length and current length, right? So I will be calling them max length and current length and compare adjacent characters. So if the adjacent characters are same, we increment the current length, okay? We increment the current length. If they are not same, then we will compare the maximum length with current length. If current length is more than maximum length or greater than maximum length, then we will replace the maximum length with the current length and reset the current length and proceed for the rest of the string. So that's how we are going to do it, right? So finally, whatever we have accumulated in the max length, we will return. Let's go ahead and apply that particular logic to uh, this lead code, basically the first example, right? So lead code is example. So I have initialized my index to zero and max length initialized to one and current length is also initialized to one because after one, zero, its max length is one, current length is one, right? When i is equal to one, so at one, we will have to compare with the previous character. Are they same L and E? No, they are not same. So we will put, we will compare max length with current length. Are they, is max length, is current length greater than maximum length? No, not really. So we will just reset 
current length to 1, right? So that's what we are anyway, right? So now moving on to i is equal to 2, the second character, right? I mean 0, 1, 2, 3, that makes it as a third character actually. So third character is same as second character. So what we are going to do, increment the current length, that's what we did, right? So what we are doing, we are incrementing the current length. If they are same, we incremented the current length. So next move on to next character, that is 3, t. So is t is equal to e? No. So current character is different from previous character. What we are do going to do, compare the max length with current length. That's what we are doing. Compare the max length with current length. If current length is greater than max length, yes. In this particular case, current length is greater than the max length. So we will replace the max length. So put current length into max length, right? And reset the current length to 1. So we reset this point. Move on to the next character, 4. T and C, they are not same. So max length will be 2 still and current length will be still 1 because current length is not greater than max length. Next go on C O right still it will be same O D still same D E still same right. So at the end of it we got max length is equal to 2 and current length is equal to 1. So whatever the max length that we accumulated so far right that will be our answer. So we will be returning that as the answer max length is equal to 2 which is the answer that we are looking for right. So that's how this algorithm is going to work. So basically the idea is to compare the adjacent strings as long as they are same the current length will be incremented. If they are not same we will do some more processing basically resetting the current length and also before resetting the current length check if the current length is greater than the maximum length if so replace the maximum length with current length. So that's the algorithm right. So let's go ahead and jump into the code we'll come back to the time and space after looking at the code okay so string s that is what the input so max length i initialize to 1 and n is equal to s dot length int current length is equal to 1 so why did i initialize the max length to 1 because uh, in one in the constraint it is given that the string length will be at least 1 so that's why I initialize to 1 so you can ignore the uh, string being null or empty because it is given that at least one will be there in the given input. So that's why I initialized max length to one and curl length to one. Otherwise we this this will make wrong because if s can be zero, uh, zero length or null length right we cannot basically assume this way right since it is given in the constraint as one is less than s dot length dot less than is equal to less than or equal to 500 right that's why I have initialized max length to 1 and curl length also to 1 okay and we start from the first character that that means not the 0th character so 0 is this index right this is the first character basically first index I would say not character exactly so first index so 0th index we already assumed right so that's what the maximum length anyway right so we will start from first index so if first index is equal to the 0th index because i is equal to 0 right if first is equal to equal to first index character is equal to zeroth index character then we will increment the current length. So at some point in time if two adjacent characters are not equal right what we are going to do is we are going to calculate what is the maximum of max length or curl length and put it in the max length and reset the current length that is what we discussed uh, in our logic right. So basically we will increment if they are same if they are not same compare the max length with uh, current length and if it is greater we will replace and reset the current length similarly that is it right. So finally we end this for loop at the end of n. So we will need to make one more check that is max length whether it is greater than current length or not. So that is what that is what we are making. So why, why are we making this one? So just to cater the strings like this. So a something like this if it is there right. So you would not consider this last b basically right. So that is the reason why we will say okay we will need to do this check one more time and before returning the max length we check do this check and return the max length at the end of it. So let us go ahead and look at the time complexity and space complexity for this algorithm. So time complexity we are going through the entire string let us say the string length is n right the string length is n. So in that case we will say the time complexity for this particular algorithm is order of n and the space complexity what space we are extra uh, exactly using we are using this max length current length and n 
So apart from these three uh, temporary variables, right, or local variables, we are not using anything. In respect of the string length, we are using only those three variables, right. So for that case, we will say this algorithm is a constant space algorithm. So the time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of 1 for this particular algorithm. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below this video. I have posted the code for uh, this particular problem to GitHub repository in both languages C Sharp and Java. You can find the link in description below this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and share among your friends. Please click on the bell icon so that you will be notified about my future videos. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another video very soon. Till then, stay safe and goodbye.